Hey, I'm Chris Dancy. I'm known as the world's most connected person. And if you're here right now, there's a chance you might want to have me at your event. I've done keynotes for everybody from the US Army to the Church of Latter-day Saints. I've worked with everyone from Spotify to Google and traveled around the world multiple times. People love my story because it's an inspiring, techno-positive look at how we operate and work with technology all around the world. And I'm excited to share that story with you. Before we get going, you need to know a little bit more about me and what I do. So that's what this video is for. So I'm going to share with you all of it. First, there's a few things that I do when I collaborate with events. I provide hosting, I provide experiences, and I provide keynotes. But what's the difference? Well, the first thing is when you've been to as many events as I have, from 100 people in a boardroom, tucked away someplace in Spain, to tens of thousands of people at Salesforce's Dreamforce, you know that every event is different. For hosting, I really focus on bringing a little bit of myself and my personal story, but aligned to the program. Sometimes with hosting, I even integrate my keynotes into parts of the program itself. They'll have a main keynote, and then I'll come out for five or 10 minutes and share a little bit more. I did this for Software AG and Tech uh, at Quest Software's recent event for the last three years running. That's something else. Most events have me back multiple years in a row. But when I'm not hosting, I sometimes do virtual hosting, which again, like now is on camera, and all of my work is done straight to camera, which means I'm media trained. I've been in front of some of the biggest cameras in the world, everywhere from news to television specials. There's a lot on the internet about me. Like I say, I give good Google. And with these virtual sessions or virtual emceeing, I'm so great because I understand how to bring myself through the camera like I am right now. And that's what people really want when you're doing anything virtual or hybrid. So I love hosting on stage or virtually. It's something that is just so much different than keynotes. But the next thing I do experiences is probably something that's going to seem a little bit different. See, I've learned that just being a keynote at an event isn't enough. People wanna get up close and personal with you. And while I have a book and I could do a book signing and all that other kind of stuff, people want their minds blown. And that's where I do amazing things like my sensor petting zoo, where I bring a bunch of sensors and technology with me. We set up a booth in the expo hall or someplace at the event, and people can come up and work with the sensors, try them out and learn all about them. In fact, even the glasses that I wear nowadays have cameras in them. They're like absolutely ordinary, but just like Inspector Gadget, they've got these cameras. But probably the most provocative thing that I do with experiences is something called phone palmistry. You see, for almost 15 years, I've been going to events around the world. People hand me their smartphones. We have a whole fortune teller booth that we send. And I look at their home screen without opening up anything. And I tell them about their life. It's like palm reading with your device. People cry, people laugh, people sometimes get a little unnerved. We put a lot of what we value in our devices. We often don't realize even the way we arrange our icons on our home screen says a lot about us. But probably what I'm most well known for are my keynotes. I'll tell you this, you have to be there in the room. Something changes. There's a certain type of magic and I don't say that lightly. I love taking my ability and my relationship with technology and helping people understand how to embrace themselves, their technology and each other through my keynotes. Now there's a bunch of different keynotes and topics that you can pick that I can speak on. You'll see a list here somewhere on this page. But most importantly, I want you to understand my keynotes come from a place of mutual respect. I understand how hard it is and how much some people struggle with technology. Heck, I've done a TED Talk, but there are five TED Talks that talk about my relationship with technology. So what I do is I allow you to search by audience, like what type of person's going to be at your event, theme, AI, IoT, healthcare, even death and spirituality. One of my most popular talks is on the occult and technology. That's probably where phone palmistry got its roots. But more importantly, I allow you to search by emotion. Why emotion? Because oftentimes you want an audience to feel something. The story is great. The content's amazing. The themes, the topic, it's all great. But it's stuff people can find on Google. What people want to do is they want to feel. So I allow you to search for keynote topics by feeling. 
every single keynote that I have can be customized and aligned to your particular brand or event. But more importantly, if there's a topic you like and it's not aligned to that feeling, because I work with feelings and technology a lot, we can adjust that. An AI talk can be optimistic or it can be scary. I personally think it's a little bit of both. But techno optimism, something I like to pride myself on, is super important right now in making sure everybody understands how to hopefully get up and get out of bed and face the day and not dread the people they're connected to, the technology they're using, or the world around them. My keynotes focus on everything from love and family to death and dying, from disasters to life after our iPhone and what it means to not have any interface at all. I consider myself a mindful cyborg and a techno pagan, which means my talk on tech and magic will actually make people uncomfortable. A lot of the rituals we do with technology actually come from occult practices. I can't wait for you to explore my body of work here, and I can't wait to work with you. To learn more, you can hit the contact me button or check out the organizer fairy, a special page I created where you can download pricing, contracts, learn how to work with me and all the extra things I do. Oftentimes I'll be asked to create entire videos uh, and mini episodic television shows to promote an event. I've done everything from the keynote to the host, from backstage planning to building systems to actually allow people to interact with at the event. Why am I, am I just overly ambitious? Yeah, I am. But at the end of the day, if we don't have good role models telling people how to use technology in a way that's good for them, their families, their communities, and the world around them, what are we but a bunch of tools? I can't wait to work with you. Thank you so much for stopping by. We've become these kind of autocomplete systems. We want people to answer us like Google, picture us like Instagram, and talk to us like Twitter. Yet we weren't built for this.